What I intend to do now in this part of the DVD is show you how to calculate your own pellets BC, standing for ballistic coefficient. And to do this, firstly you have to make sure that you're bang on zero and hitting the target at 25 meters or whatever your preferred zero range is. So I've laser this target, it's a piece of paper with a drawing pin, and I've set it out at 25 laser meters. So I'm just going to make sure that I'm somewhere on my zero. Like so. I put another shot in just to make sure that wasn't a fluke. And you can see that's two shots for the same hole at 25 meters. And this is me using RWS Superfields in 2.2 caliber. I've now moved the target back to a laser 40 meters, and the way I'm going to work out my BC is using the Chair Gun Pro software and it's using the routine of calculate the difference of point of impact. So what I'm going to do now is put the crosshair bang on the red drawing pin shown there at 40 meters knowing that the pellet should drop. Once I put about three or four shots in hopefully there'll be a group at 40 meters and then I measure the distance between the point there and wherever the center of the group is it falls. That is then entered into Chair Gun Pro and it will work out your pellet's own BC. So let's do that now. And one more. And there you can see I've got a one old group as well at 40 meters. If you look at the size of the drawing pin up there and the size of the group, the actual group size is only a little bit bigger than the drawing pin, so that's not bad uh, for the BSA R10 in 2.2 caliber at 40 lays meters. You're now looking at a close-up of the target. I've put a blue drawing pin in the dot here which is the point of aim on the crosshair. I'm now going to put a drawing pin at the center of the group. What you can see is I shot five pellets into this group and four of them are being covered by one drawing pin. I had one flyer just off to the edge here which is pretty good for 40 meters so four shots basically in the same hole covered by a drawing pin I'm now going to measure the distance between the point of aim and the point of impact using my measuring tool and I'm going from center to center there I'll lay that down and hopefully I'll better zoom in and you'll see it's 91 millimeters. So 9.1 centimeters. What I'll do now is I'll go onto my computer and open up Chair Gun Pro. I'll right click on the white data entry entitled BC. Once you do that, you'll see three options. First one will say no change. Second one, calculate BC from velocity difference. And the third option, calculate BC from point of impact difference use this option. I'm now going to show you how I'll go into the Hawk Chagun Pro software to produce the new ballistic coefficient for the RWS Superfield pellet. Start by double clicking on the Hawk Chagun Pro desktop icon. This is a profile I've already made for my BSA R10 with the RWS Superfield pellets. Everything's correct, less for the BC. Due to the fact that an RWS Superfield pellet is not in the inbuilt pellet database, I was using an Air Arms field. 
We're now going to change this and correct this box here. What you do is you put the finger of the mouse over the white area and right click. You will then be given three options. No change, calculate BC from velocity difference or calculate BC from point of impact difference. The last one, calculate BC from point of impact difference, is the one you need to click on. Once you've done that, this box will open and data is already filled in automatically for you, as in the muzzle velocity, your scope height, your zero range, and your target range in meters. This is it comes from this box here. Due to the fact that I did zero at 25 meters, and the target range of the second target I shot at was at 40 meters, we'll leave it at that. What you can see, the air arms field only drops minus 8.875 centimeters at, from 25 to 40 meters. We've worked out now though that the RWS superfield drops 9.1 centimeters. So we're going to change that now to 9.1. Once you put in 9.1, press enter, and you'll see the graph change slightly. Once you've done that, double check, make sure everything's correct, and then accept. What you can now see is Chagon has worked out the new and correct BC for the RWS Superfield pellet, and it's 0 0.0283. This can now be used to give you greater accuracy using this software.